Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I want to show you how we can create and edit a utility blueprint, which allows us to basically code our own little buttons inside Unreal so we can use them in a content browser and in the scene to do different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can create a blueprint utility, which gives us a little button on our right menu somewhere in here to apply a material to every single one of these meshes at the exact same time. So if I wanted to do this now without it, I'd have to double click. I'd have to then apply the material and then do that basically 116 times and I'm not doing it. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to create a new folder and we're going to call this editor blueprint. Yep. And then we're going to move this to our content browser to make sure it's there. Keep doing that. So in our content browser, Actually, what we need to do first is make sure our plugin is enabled. So if we go to editor plugins, it is by default on my version, but it's, it's safe to just check. So it's called editor scripting utilities. If you already have it installed, you can click, you can see by just right click and go to editor utilities. And in here, we're going to want our editor utility blueprint. So in here, we've got loads of different things that we want. If you want to modify something in the scene, so the viewport, you're going to want to use an actor action utility, but for this case, we're going to use an asset action utility. So I'm just going to click that select. Now I'm going to call this blueprint utility. So BPU underscore set asset material. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit run editor utility. So now if I right click on something, nothing will show up. It's because we don't actually have a function in our code. So this stumped me for a little while. So I'm going to hit save all just so it's already in there. All we're going to do is we're just going to open it up. We don't have much in here. We just have our event graph. So what we need to do is actually create a function. So we're going to do a function. We're going to rename this to change material. And name it correctly. And now we get to build off what it is we do. So I'm going to compile. And the first thing we want to do is we basically want Unreal to know what we're doing. So the history. So this is if you do miss, if you make a mistake, you can basically undo what it is you've made. And to do that, we're going to drag off the event. And we're going to go begin transaction. And, hit enter. and then in the context, we're going to type in change material. In the description, we're just going to write change static material or static mesh material just so we got a description and for our primary object, we're just going to do self. So I'm just type self, get reference to self. Excellent. So now what we need to do is get all our selected assets. So basically what we're looking for is every mesh that we select in our content browser. So to do that, we're just going to drag off our event and we type in selected. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look for selected assets and select that one. And now we need to do a for loop. So we're going to drag off our return value for each loop and we're going to plug that in and so we don't forget on completed we're just going to set this to end transaction so basically once this for loops finished it's going to update our transaction itself so it'll know whereabouts in the stage we are and now what we need to do is go to our array element drag off that and we're going to do cast static mesh because that's what we're going for and we're going to hook that up and then now what we need to do is drag off our array element transact object. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our cast. We're going to drag off and we're going to set material. Give it an enter. We will drag our transact object to connect up the pins. And then for our new material, we're just going to drag this all the way back to the beginning. And we're going to put it onto our function. And we're going to rename this function new material. Oh, so that's all right. Now if we hit compile, save. We can actually, I'm going to move that to the side. What we can do is now we should be able to actually use our blueprint to apply material to all of these. So I've already got a material set up. It's just called M underscore wood. So now if I go to my meshes, I select all of them. I can right click anywhere. It says scripted actions, change material. So once I do that, it gives me this window that says new material. So obviously wood. And then once I hit OK, so you see, once I hit apply, it applies it to every mesh in our content browser. And we didn't have to go through and 
<laughs> apply it to 116 different meshes. So I really hope this helped you guys. If you just want to see some more of these, just let me know and I'll work on some more and put them up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below or jump over to the Discord and we'll be able to help you out over there. If there's anything else you want to see or any tools you want, let me know and I'll look at making some. And until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.